Yo, what's good YouTube, it's YBC, and I am back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be selling some of my collection, some of my squad, to open up guaranteed Galaxy Opal and Pink Diamond packs in NBA 2K19, my team. So over the course of the last two months, guys, I've ripped a ton, and I mean a ton of packs. Every single time a new player came out, every single time 2K put a new Opal in packs, I ripped packs to see if I get that Galaxy Opal to get a gameplay of that card. And with that being said, guys, the auction house servers in the last two months have been simply terrible. I could not, I could not sell my entire shoe collection. I could not sell the extra badges I got from packs. But last night, guys, the auction house servers were pretty mellow. They calmed down a little bit. So I sold a lot of my collection and some players I didn't use off my old squad to accumulate a lot of MT guys and see if we can get some great fire in these guaranteed Galaxy Opal and Pink Diamond packs. Now we take a look at my collection right here guys, I'm going to show you some of the cards that I did sell. I didn't really sell any current NBA cards because they don't really go for anything. Heat check guys, whatever heat check player I had is gone. Moments card for the current moments is gone, I don't have one single moments card. Throwback as well, these cards go for a lot guys. If you have some throwback cards in your collection, put them up on the auction block and sell them instantly. Like I know this Emerald Aaron Brooks has a ton of value, yes, this Emerald Brooks is going for a ton of MT. And when it comes to also cards like this gold d brown for the raptors i remember i spent a ton of mt on him gold d brown is going for over 20,000 mt so just go through your collection guys like i did see if you have some throwback cards that go for a good amount of mt and thumb up on the auction block you can make some a lot of mt by selling some extra cards you don't use like i did moving right along to the throwback elite cards guys i don't really have many i just have a couple not many at all moving right along to the pro promo packs guys and promo players and i sold my anniversary cards and the only cards I do have on this account right here are cards that are in the pack and play series. With that being said, guys, other than the pack and play cards, I pretty much sold every single player that I did have. And we take a look at the auction house outcomes right here, guys. You guys can see that we have only four. That's mainly because I redeemed most of them. <laughs> you guys can see right here we have one more that we haven't redeemed, and that's that Galaxy Opal Russell Westbrook. And that's exactly why we can't redeem this card, guys. And we actually did. And yeah, we didn't even get in any MT for it. So now that I came back into my team after I sold my Russell Westbrook, they gave me the MT. But yeah, with that being said, guys, the auction house servers have been very friendly to me when I when I tried to sell my collection and quick sell everything that I had. As you can see right here, we don't really have many auctions in my collect in my auctions. But yeah, guys, let's get back on track for this video. We're gonna be opening up these packs right here, these guaranteed deluxe pink diamond or higher ultimate player. With that being said, guys, we're only gonna be pulling pink diamonds and galaxy opals out of these packs and the five opals you can pull are opal clay opal kevin durant opal curry opal westbrook and opal pierce and then you can also pull five pink diamonds guys like i said and those five pink diamonds you can pull are pink diamond michael finley pink diamond Jermaine o'neal pink diamond rudy gobert pink diamond kevin love and and also pink diamond bernard king pink diamond bernard king is the last player is the last pullable pink diamond in these packs without further ado guys let's go ahead and open up these packs guaranteed pink diamond are higher here we go let's start off this one with an opal and if we don't get Opal, I'll still be satisfied with the Pink Diamond pool. That's Pink Diamond right there. See who we're going to get right here. Come on, I, I would love it for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Utah Jazz, center. That's going to be Rudy Gobert. I'll take that, guys. Starting off with a Rudy Gobert off the bat. Moving on to the next pack right here, guys. And the 2K servers right now are being pretty friendly. Friendly. These packs are going by pretty fast, I'll say that. And we get another Pink Diamond on pack number two right here. But earlier, guys, when, when you were able to pull these packs at first, it would take forever to pull the packs. As you guys see right here, we get a Minnesota Tim Rules Power Forward. That's going to be a Pink Diamond Kevin Love. And Pink Diamond Kevin Love right now is going for around 12,000 MT. So with the pack being 17,000 MT and us getting 12,000 MT back for this Kevin Love, we nearly made our MT back. And that's the cool thing about these cards, guys, is that even though they're expensive at 17,000 MT, you're guaranteed a pink diamond or higher. And I believe the pink diamond that costs the cheapest is Rudy Gobert as we get another pink diamond on pack number three. And hopefully it's going to be another Kevin Love. But the Rudy Gobert, I believe, is the cheapest at around 5,000 MT. And we get ourselves another Rudy Gobert. That's what I think. But with that being said, guys, you can still make a lot of MT back from these packs. That's like what I'm going to do. After this, guys, after I get done with pulling every single play that we get out of these packs, I'm going to sell them and make some of my MT back. If we pull an Opal, guys, I'll make more than my MT back. Like, if, if we pull Opal KD, and Opal KD is going for around 450,000 MT, and we rip 400,000 MT worth of packs, we've already made our MT back and more. Because not only will we sell KD and make our MT back, but we'll also sell the Pink Diamonds and other stuff that we get. And we got ourselves another Pink Diamond on pack number four right here. See, this one going to be, I hope, is a Kevin Love, Indiana Pacers, 
Center, Jermaine O'Neal. Okay, he's one of the more expensive ones as well. Jermaine O'Neal card is a beast. Although it would really suck if I got no Galaxiopolis. If I got no Galaxiopolis, I probably would be losing a good amount of MT, which I don't really want to do as we get a, another pink diamond on pack number five. But like I said, guys, I wouldn't really be losing that much MT because I'm going to sell all the pink diamonds back. New York Knicks right here. Small forward. Bernard King is going to be a number 30 for New York Knicks. Not Stephen Curry, but Bernard King. I believe right now we are on pack number seven. I sometimes lose track of how many packs that we do pull. But I know that we started off at 600k, and I'm probably going to go down to 400, 200k. As you guys see right here, we get ourselves another pink diamond. I'm probably going to stop this pack opening at around 200,000 MT. So about 100,000 MT, and we got ourselves another center for Utah Jazz. It's going to be another Rudy Gobert. Move right along to the next pack right here. Flip all. That's going to be our, another pink diamond on the left of the middle card. Minnesota Timberwolves, power forward. I'll definitely take that. We made 10, 12, 10 to 12,000 MT back by getting ourselves another Kevin Love. I'll definitely take that one. Moving right along to the next pack right here. Another 17,000 MT is down the drain. Come on, 2K. Give me an Opal. That's going to be another pink diamond. Oh, man. Come on, 2K. You've got to give me one Opal. One Opal is all I'm asking for. Even if it's an Opal Westbrook or Opal Curry who goes for, like, the least amount of MT or even Pierce. I'll be satisfied with that. We got ourselves another pink diamond Michael Finley right here. You know, that pink diamond Michael Finley is a very slept on card. I don't really see too many people using him, but that card is definitely a beast. We get a Galaxy Opal right here. Let's go on the far right. Just as I was talking about, just asking 2K to give me one Opal. We got one right here. Those who shall ask may receive. I'm not sure if that's how you say the quote, guys, but I know it's something along that line. Let's rip this Galaxy Opal right here. Come on, give me the Warriors. I want to see the Warriors logo. That's what I want to see. Warriors, small forward. Give me a small forward. Small forward, Kevin Durant. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. KD. Kevin Durant, welcome to the collection, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Just like that, guys, we pulled the most expensive card and the best card in this promo. This right here is going to be the next pack right after we pull KD. Can we get back-to-back -back Opals? Come on, 2K. Whoa. Oh, ping down on the right. I was getting really, really hyped. Because sometimes I can see the glow underneath the cards as the pack splits open. You guys know me. You guys know how I can sometimes tell when I get a card. As we get another center for the Indiana Pacers, another Jermaine O'Neal. You guys know me. Sometimes when I do the pack and play series, I'm sometimes able to predict what card I already get when a pack splits open. Right there, I try to predict and kind of build a little bit of suspense seeing what card I was going to get. But honestly, I couldn't really tell which one I was going to get. And like I said, I did get a Pink Diamond Jermaine O'Neal. But that KD pool, guys, definitely got me super, super pumped, guys. We're already 200,000 MT into this pack opening, and I've already made my MT back. And I'm just only going to be making more MT back right here. On to the next pack right here, we get ourselves another Pink Diamond. Like, even if I pull nothing but Pink Diamonds the rest of the pack, even if I don't pull another Galaxy Opal, I would have made more more MT than I already put into this pack opening. Because like I said, I'm going to be putting 400,000 MT into the pack opening and KD goes, goes for 450,000 MT. So already I've made a little bit of MT with the KD. Now when I sell the other cards like the pink diamonds and other stuff I get, I'm going to be making way more MT than what, I, than what I'm going to put in to this pack opening. Now if I pull another KD, oh man, I would make well over six to 700,000 MT from this pack opening because of how much MT I put in. Like I said, guys, we got ourselves another pink diamond out of this pack hopefully it's for another timberwolves yes it is another timberwolves power forward we'll take another pink diamond kevin love another 10,000 mt coming our way so we have around seven more packs to go around that range seven to eight more packs and that will put us at around 220 ish mt that's my, around that range where i'm gonna stop pulling these packs if we got ourselves another pink diamond that's one came on the far right for the indiana pacers another center another beast of a card and another Number seven being Jermaine O'Neal. Around six more packs to go as we're going to move on to the next one. And that might be an Opal. I might have seen an Opal as a pack split open. No, I didn't. It's a Pink Diamond. I thought I saw an Opal split open because I didn't see a Pink Diamond glow. Usually I can see the glow, like I said, of the PD. But it's, it's a lot harder to see the glows of the Galaxy Opal as we get ourselves another Pink Diamond Michael Finley. The Galaxy Opal glow, I feel like, is the hardest glow to see when a pack splits open. The easiest ones to see are Emerald, Sapphire, Ruby, and Pink Diamond because those have the most have the brightest card emphasis. But Galaxy Opal kind of mixed in with is like kind of like a silver-ish type of color. So with that being said, guys, it's really really hard to see as we get ourselves another Pink Diamond out of this pack right here. 
Galaxy Opal, like I said, guys, is very, very hard to see compared to the others. We get ourselves another Utah Jazz center. It's going to be another number 27, Rudy Gobert. You know, guys, I'm actually going to think about keeping this Kevin Durant card. Right now, he's going for around 450,000 MT. But if 2K adds more Opals into the market, if we get ourselves another pink diamond, if 2K adds more Galaxy Opals to the token market, this collection right here for the ultimate will go up in price because a lot of people will, will want to complete this set and get themselves tokens for more Opals in the market. If we get ourselves another number 42 for Timberwolves, Kevin Love. Because that's exactly what happened to the NBA draft set. Galaxy Opal Hakeem Olajuwon at one point was going for around 110,000 MT. Right now, he's pushing 200,000 MT because 2K put Opals in the market last week. And same thing with the other cards in the set, like Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball was going for around 100,000 MT. Now, he's pushing 150 to 160. And same thing with the Pink Diamonds and others. We get ourselves another Pink Diamond. So, that's why I'm thinking about keeping this KD is because I know his price will go up if 2K puts Opals into the market. Because in this set right here, you're actually going to be getting... 750 tokens compared to the NBA draft set when I believe it was only 500 tokens. We got back-to-back -back Kevin Loves. I'll take another back-to-back 10,000 MT. And same thing with the Pink Diamond in this set. Like Pink Diamond Kevin Love, Pink Diamond Gobert, Pink Diamond Bernard King. Bernard King and Gobert are like the, as we get ourselves yet, another Pink Diamond. <laughs> Bernard King and Rudy Gobert are the two cards that go for the least amount of MT. They go for around 5,000 MT, 4 to 5,000 MT. But I'm very, very confident, guys, that when 2K removes these packs from the market and when 2K drops some more ovals into the market, those price, those cards, along with KD, will go up in price. So I put a lot of pink diamonds out of this pack, this pack opening, guys. I probably pulled around, I'd say, 15 to 20. I'm considering keeping those 15 to 20 and just, you know, holding on to them until their price goes up. And this right here is going to be the last pack right here, guys. And we're going to get another pink diamond. And this is going to conclude the pack opening with this card right here. Kind of forgot to give you guys a quick warning on the final pack, but New York Knicks, small forward, another pink diamond, Bernard King, number 30. And yeah, Bernard King's gonna conclude this pack opening, guys. You know what, guys? I'm gonna open up one more pack because I honestly did not give you guys a fair warning on the final pack. I'm actually going to use VC for this last pack. I have some extra VC in the top right hand corner. So yeah, this is gonna be the last pack right here. I do apologize about not giving you guys a final warning, but so we're gonna make up for it right here with a VC pack. And we get a pink diamond on the official last one this one is going to be for the indiana pacers another center and it's going to be another jermaine o'neal so now as you guys can see right here this is every single card that we did pull from the pack opening we pulled this galaxy opal kevin Dar kevin durant and this galaxy opal kd was the only opal that we did pull we pulled a ton of pink diamonds including pink diamond kevin love which we pulled about 10 of pink diamond jermaine o'neal pink diamond michael finley pink diamond bernard king and pink diamond rudy gobert and I feel like out of every single card that we did pull, I feel like I probably make close to 100 to 150,000 MT for the Pink Diamonds. I feel like I probably make 450,000 MT for this Kevin Durant. So with that being said, I probably feel like I made close to 600,000 MT for every single card that we did pull. And mixed in with the playbooks, the contracts, and badges, I feel like I made close to 650 to 700,000 MT from this pack opening that we spent only 400,000 MT on. Now, like I said, we profited 300,000 MT. Basically, we gained 300,000 MT from doing this video because we spent 400,000 MT on the packs and we're going to make 700,000 MT back. That's 300,000 MT gap that we made from doing this video. So, yeah, guys, I think going to wrap up this video. Let me know in the comments below right now, guys, what I should do with this 300,000 MT that I did profit. Should I do this again? Should I make another video with 300,000 MT profit and open up more of these packs? and risk another 300,000 MT and see if we can profit more? Or should I just keep the 300,000 MT and save it? I'm thinking about, you know, risking it again, going all in another 300,000 MT and doing this video again another day. Let me know in the comment below what I should do, guys. It's all up to you guys. I will listen to you guys on this one. So yeah, I pretty much wrapped this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And as usual, and as always, it's YBC and I'm out. Peace.